Hi, and welcome back to Grassroots Crypto, where I like to teach people about crypto. And I was going to make a video on um, how 4chan recovered post the hacks and all that type of stuff, the recovery, but didn't feel it was going to be quite fitting given uh, what's happened now. So in this video, I'm going to go talk about why 4chan's uh, been halted, what's happened, and uh, what's been planned ahead for it to get restarted. Right, so if you weren't aware, um, 4chain has, has had to stop again, and this is due to a consensus failure. So if you have a look at the actual root cause here, um, 4chain got into a consensus failure. That's where all the distributed nodes can't agree on a single view of the world. And the reason why that was is a map that was as a data structure was used when it shouldn't be used inside of a, um, a blockchain application. So the reason why that is is, a 4chain, like Ethereum and other type blockchains, is deterministic. So the same inputs should yield the same outputs. But when you declare a map, which is unordered, obviously the order is going to be different. It's going to process, the um, or each node is going to process the map in a different order. So therefore the output is going to be different when um, depending on which node runs that in what order. So therefore it's not deterministic when you utilize a map. It's like using a random number generator or something like that in a code. You can't do that in blockchain applications. It's very bad. In fact, it's evil. So that's caused um, a consensus failure. And the reason why that is because um, they're referencing a, a, a pool that didn't exist. So um, you can read the whole summary there that um, Son of Odin has put. So the change has been made in order to rectify this. Um, you can have a look at the changes where it was in helpers.go, I think, and then they redone this with an updated one. So it's not like a whole new one, but because they put um, 74 on top, the version that needs to go to, then I think it's in here. They've, um, they've redone this to continue on and probably not use a map of some kind to um, to, to iterate over the pools when they're they're moving through and they're, they're trying to pay the pools based off slash points. So the slash points that the nodes get, um, which is you know they take value away from the from the um, nodes when they do something bad, then they distribute them among the pools. So that's kind of like the the area that um, this code deals with. Anyway, that's not that important. The important thing is that it's caused a consensus um, failure. Whilst they fix that. Um, they've got a bit of issues in getting everybody to agree where things are. So they needed to, to roll back the chain. Well, actually, I get ahead of myself. There was three, um, three options proposed. They could either do a rollback, um, which was to roll back and then sort of like try and replay. Uh, however, um, they didn't really have this fully implemented. So the uh, Cosmos team, the people that um, uh, 4chan use, the underlying um, SDK, think of... Think of Android as like Cosmos and 4chan is in like an application on top of um, Android, Cosmos type of thing. So that's like the underlying code deals with all the difficult stuff. So they talked to Cosmos, they'd half built this feature. 4chan tried to fully um, complete this feature here in, in option one, but um, it was just gonna take them too long to get it finished properly. So they went on to option two, which is do a resync. That's where they kind of like delete all the, the chain and um, restart from scratch with that change applied essentially now um they were going to could, could do that themselves because that way they're going from their own snapshot in a distributed way or they could take a snapshot that nine realms created um you know someone else's snapshot and play from there obviously you know pros and cons whether you go from using someone else's snapshot and and that's good which would be quicker or you go from your own snapshot as a node operator, which you know is going to be good, and then that way you can independently verify. And some nodes kind of, they just went different ways. So there's no right or wrong. Um, I think there was a mix of both there. So that was option two, and there's actually option three, which is to do a soft fork, but um, that was the most nuclear and unpreferred option. So option two was selected, really because option one was going to take too long. So everyone kind of agreed, yep, we're going to go with um, option two. Well, the core team, not me. I didn't agree. <laughs> I wasn't a part of this. Um, so each node was going to pull down the up updated version and then reseek their node to get the, um, the, the blocks producing again. And once they got two third consensus or two thirds of the actual nodes out of 38 or 40, um, then they were able to go. So they had to put a very careful plan together for, um, for the nodes to execute.
so here, here's the plan um or i think there's the tweet about it and here's the plan so they have to go through this um, very detailed step-by-step -step, uh plan for the active ones so these were the active ones that were currently had been selected within the tss um, signing party and then they had quite enough wanted to get them done first because they're the ones that required to produce blocks and then they could deal with the rest of the nodes the the, the standby ones and stuff like that um, a little bit later right having a look here um 36 nodes have updated so well over two-thirds so then you would think well the chain it should be all good now it should be all good now but that's not the case uh, and the reason for that is more than enough nodes um, were updated, but unfortunately it seems like they're still processing old votes. So I'd seen like 600 rounds of voting um, that needed to be processed. So they're in, they're still in communication with um, the Cosmos team to see if they can speed that up. However, um, uh, it may still take a few more days. Apparently I heard 55 hours in one of the chats for that to occur and then they can start producing blocks. After that's done, it's going, well, the Bifrost is down. So that means all in t external transactions in, like from Bitcoin, Ethereum, anywhere that's not full chain, blockchain, will, will not be processed. You're not going to be able to do the trading. Then they're going to pause the replicated state machine or the full chain blockchain whilst they get everything up to date. So it's still a work in progress. And it seems like a bit of a, a corner case. So one, obviously they use, you know, an unordered map shouldn't be used inside of a blockchain because it's not deterministic. It's not always going to yield the same results when the order's unknown. And then two, it seems like a bit of a, a new, I guess, corner case where you've got a, a blockchain that gives um, instant finality, not able to read a, a consensus, which is a big issue. So it's not like Bitcoin that has Nakamoto consensus, so longest chain wins and they don't really have instant finality because you've got to wait till three, six or whatever blocks before you would consider it confirmed. Uh, Thor chain being um, instant finality like Binance chain and stuff like that means that everyone needs to come to a consensus. They write that state of the world and then they move on. And if they can't reach a consensus for some reason, it's a bit of a problem. So I just want to give an update there with respect to Thor chain and where it's at. Um, probably a couple more days, this is going to be out. I say it's a bit frustrating as a disclosure. I do hold rune, you know, surprise, surprise. Um, I've obviously got an LP position in there. So, you know, I feel it like everyone else, but I would say keep it in the long term. This is something, it is chaos net. There are risks involved in, in this. Obviously, 4chan has a protocol risk um, that's, you know, eventuating um, a little bit having been the first one to do this playing, you know, I guess in the leading edge or some say the bleeding edge of technology, um, they're going to have issues and, you know, this may not be the, the last issue, hopefully it is, but this is, this is, I guess, the game you play when you, you deal with leading edge technology in order to do native cross-chain swaps and liquidity pooling. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, what do you think of, of Thor chain and, and, and you had the hack the first hack, then you have the, the, the pause for the second hack, and then you've got um, this happening. What are your thoughts? Do you think, okay, um, happy to see these issues in the short term with a long term vision, or you're like, oh, no, it's not worth it because, you know, a native cross chain swap without KYC is not really worth it? So, like, you know, what are your thoughts on there? Let me know in the comments below, and I will be um, interested to read them. So that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, until next time, thanks. Bye.